Today we are going to learn about retail story. But first, I'm going to teach you the parts of the story. So let's begin. When we are retelling the story, we have to know the parts. So I'm going to explain you the different parts of the story. We have the setting, beginning, middle, and end. Okay, so I'm going to explain two parts of the story, the setting and the beginning. In the setting, you have to know about the time and the place that the story is going to be set. That's why it's called setting. What place? It can be in a forest, it can be in a castle, it depends on the story that you are reading, okay? And time, it can be the year. For example, if we are reading a book of a future, it can be in the 2023. Or we are uh, reading a book of the past year, it can be in the 1900s. This is what is explained in the setting, that is the time and the place. Now, in the beginning, we have to talk about who are the characters in the story? What are their names? Okay? What do they do? So, in this part, you're going to explain who are the characters. Now, let me explain you the middle and the end of the retail story. In the middle, we have to describe what happens to the characters. What happened to them? Are they having a problem in the, in the story? A conflict? A situation? So you have to describe this in the middle. In the end, we are going to describe how are the characters different at the end of the story. Have they changed? Have they resolved the problem or the conflict? Do we have a happy ending or a bad ending of the story? Now, let me show you an example of how you have to put the parts of the story that you are going to do in your midterm test. Now, let's do the foldable accordion. For this, we need a Lego sheet of paper. And then let's start foldable the accordion. I have an example here of how you have to do it. So we are going to use five pages. One, two, three, four, and five for the accordion. And then we are going to put here and write the parts of the story, the setting, the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story that you're going to do in your midterm test. But now I'm going to show you an example of how to do it. So let's continue. Okay, so here is my foldable of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This book or this story, I have read it a thousand times, many, many times. So I made my Harry Potter foldable accordion. So here I made the foldable with the principal characters that you can see here. The setting of the story, the places that it happens with the story. And then I put the beginning, a little part of the story of the beginning, how the, it started, and the middle. The middle, and then the end of the story. You can see there, I put the end of the story. So, this is how I want you to do it. In a sheet of paper, Lego paper, you're going to write the principal characters, the setting, the beginning, and the middle. 
Remember to use capital letters with red. You are wondering what retail story are you going to do? Well, you guessed it. You're going to retell the story about the grumpy prince. You're going to describe in the foldable accordion the principal characters, the setting, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then in another sheet of paper, you're going to write the questions and answer. So, in class soon, we are going to do this together. See you soon, guys. Bye.